Today we're gonna learn how to punch a hole into anything in Photoshop and that too non-destructively using an amazing feature called Knockout. Now what does Knockout do? Well, Knockout allows you to knock out any particular shape or text from a layer. Think of it like this. Suppose you have a scissor and suppose you have a paper and you're cutting out a shape from it or a text from it. And that's what Knockout is all about. Well, you might ask, cannot we do this using the eraser tool or mask it out? Well, you can, but the question here is, Will it be non-destructive? Even if it will be non-destructive, suppose you cut out a shape of a text and you want to change the text later, will you be able to do it? We'll figure all that out, so without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and if you want to download any photo used in the video, make sure to go ahead and check the links in the description. Okay, so here we have a very, very simple setup. I just wanted to save you time. I didn't want to create it all over again. So a simple image, okay, just above the image we have a rectangle, simple rectangle. Let me just select this layer and move it. Okay, simple rectangle and above it a simple text. And by the way, just to give you a tip, if you want to move any layer, make sure auto select is checked off. It's not checked. And if you want to move anything, hold the controller command and then hover over it. And when it selects it using the pink lines, move it. Okay. Even if it doesn't show pink line, if you're using an older version of Photoshop, you can do that. Well, fashion, just hold the control. When you hold the controller command, it momentarily selects the auto select. Okay, so this is what we have. Let's go back a little. Now, suppose you want to remove the fashion text shape from this white rectangle. What do you do? What do we usually do? Suppose we create a mask. Okay, to do that, we need to create a selection of the text. How do we do that? Remember to make a selection of any layer, just hold the controller command and click on the layer thumbnail. Okay, this makes a selection. Now you can turn this layer off, doesn't really matter. And let's come to the rectangular layer. Now, if you create a mask, it will retain whatever is inside the selection and remove everything which is outside the selection. It will actually hide it. So we want just the opposite. To get just the opposite mask, what do we do? We hold the Alt or Option and then click on the mask button to get just the opposite. Okay, now as you can see, this is the result that we were looking for. This is fine. This looks right. And partially it is non-destructive. If you just link it off, if you just check this link off, you can just move it around and you can do stuff. But here's the thing. Let's put the link back on. You cannot change the text. You just cannot. Even if you take the brush and paint this area with say white light, right? Let's increase the flow. You cannot change the text. It is non-destructive, but you cannot change the text. Well, here's the, here's the right way to do it. Let's go back. Okay. Here we have this. All we have to do, go to the layer styles properties of the fashion. Okay. Just double click on the right hand side of the layer or right click and go to blending options. Okay. We're going to just double click on the right hand side of the layer. This opens the layer styles dialog box. Now here we have this effect called knockout. Okay, it has two options, shallow and deep. We'll get to that later. Let's select shallow. Now, as soon as you select shallow, what this layer is actually doing is that it's punching a hole into all the layers which is beneath it. Well, you might say, I cannot see it. You cannot see it because this layer is still visible, right? We need to make it transparent. Now, how to make it transparent? You might say decrease the opacity, but if we decrease the opacity, the knockout effect will also decrease, right? So instead we want to keep the effect, but make it transparent. And what does that fill, right? The fill opacity decreases the opacity, but keeps all the layer styles intact. Even if you apply drop shadow, bevel and emboss, anything. Okay. Let's decrease the fill opacity. Now, if you do that, as you can see, it is punching a hole, but it's punching a hole also through the rectangle, also through the background bags layer. We don't want that. We just want it to punch a hole through this rectangle. How to do it? Let's press OK and create a group of both of these. Really, really simple. So select both of these, hold the controller command, select the other one and press controller command G. Now it's done. Now you can open the group and you can do anything you want. You can select the text layer. You can move it. Well, that's fine. You can even change it. Just double click on the T and you can change anything you want, right? 
simple as ABC, right? Isn't this wonderful? Let me show you an interesting thing. In case if this was not a group, okay, if we right click on it and we go ungroup layers, okay, it's punching a hole through everything, right? Let's make the text a little smaller so that it's easier for you. Okay, now it's punching a hole through everything. Now, if you create a background layer, let's create any layer and fill it up with a gradient. Okay, just like this and put it in the background. Okay, and if you convert this into a background layer by going to layer, new, background from layer, as you can see, if I turn this off, this is going transparent. If I turn this on, it's not penetrating through that. Okay, if we go to the blending properties of this knockout, see the option is shallow and it's penetrating, punching a hole through every layer, but not the background. Just remember, background is a wall, is a metal wall or a brick wall, is the end wall through which nothing can penetrate. Okay, nothing. Now, hit OK. And if you make a group of both of these and press Ctrl or Command G, well, it's not punching a hole through this layer. Okay, but if you go back to the blending options or the layer styles, and if you change the knockout from shallow to deep, watch what happens. Now, when you select deep, irrespective of any group, anything, it punches a hole through everything. But at the end, no filter, no eraser, nothing can go through a background layer. Just remember that. Hit OK. Now, you can also do this using a shape. Well, this brings us to our next example where we will be using a shape to do the same. So in this example, as you can see, we have this image, simple, and above that, we have again, this rotated rectangle. Now, just for design purpose, just for making it look good, we can remove the shape of the bags from it, giving it a perception of depth and making it look as if it's coming out. So all you can do, you can just turn this layer off and using the quick selection tool, this one, let's zoom in and you can select it. Now, as you can see, it's selecting a little extra. You can just select it out by holding the alter option. See this turning into minus and just, you didn't want this to be selected. Now that's a fine piece of selection. Now I can turn this back on and you want to delete this. Okay. Opposite mask. Remember, hold the alter option and click on it. And that's done. You can refine the selection, but you get the idea what I was trying to do. Now, suppose you're making a shape here. Let's make any custom shape and create a new layer here. And let's choose this shape and make sure shape is selected. And there we go. Just like that. And you want to knock out this shape. Similarly, you would do the same. Double click on the right hand side of the layer. Okay. Now, knock out, shallow, pull down the fill opacity because we want to make it transparent, but we don't want to take the effect off of it. Okay. If we decrease the opacity, it also decreases the opacity of the effect. We want to retain the effect at the same time, make the content transparent. So for that, we need to edit the fill. And by the way, if you want to know more differences between fill and opacity and how to creatively use it, check out the video right here. Okay. So fill, decrease it. Okay. Now that's doing what we wanted, but we need to make group of both of these. Why? Because this is penetrating through every layer, which is beneath it. So hold the controller command, select the other one, press controller command G. This makes a group. Besides the ability to move the shape, you can also edit the shape. Okay. So here you can move it. Let's select the shape and you can move it and you can also edit it. Select this direct selection tool, go to the parts and just click on it. Okay. And you can edit it the way you want. Okay. And it works like a charm, right? And now this is a very bad heart, but you get the idea. So there you go. That's how you use knockouts in Photoshop. Just a quick recap. What does knockouts do? Well, it allows you to knock out any particular shape or text from a layer. Now inside of knockouts, there are two options, shallow and deep. What does shallow do? Well, it knocks out and penetrates through every layer, which is beneath it. Unless you create a group, when you create a group, it limits the penetration to that group. Simple. Now, when you select deep inside of knockout, it penetrates through everything, irrespective of any group. But at the end, 
both shallow and deep cannot penetrate through one thing and that is the background layer. Now think of background layer as the end wall, the metal wall, the great wall of China through which nothing can penetrate. Okay, now let me show that. Even in this example, if we go ahead and create a background layer, okay, let's create any layer and let's fill it with that same gradient and put it in the background and change it into background layer by going to layer, new, background from layer. Now, even in this case, if we go to the layer styles properties and we change it to deep, well, it cannot penetrate through it. Now, even if you are just in the background layer and try to erase something off, take the eraser and erase something off in the background layer, it won't get transparent. <laughs> Nothing can penetrate through background layer. It's just like a brush which is painting with a color which is the background color here in the swatch. Okay. If you change the background color to something else, say red, if you try to erase it, it will be red. So you cannot make the background layer transparent and that is something I want you to know. And at the end, if you want to see the knockout, you need to take the fill opacity down. Why? Because if you want to see the whole, you want to make the content transparent. Well, you might say we can make it transparent using opacity, but if you just use opacity slider, it will also make the knockout effect transparent. We don't want that. So we will take the fill opacity slider down. That will make the content transparent, but will keep the effect intact. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope this was helpful and if this was, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Oh,